Hello Scorpio, welcome to your January 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tower Reading. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Scorpios, what we're doing here, we're going to separate the reading into three different areas. It is um, therefore easier for you to understand. And it gives you more messages. <clears throat> so, win-win. <laughs> uh, so what we will do is we will look at the overall energy for the months ahead. Before we look, then look at your emotional core. Emotional core is about maybe there's love coming in. Maybe there are things that can be released now. Trauma, pain, that kind of stuff. Before we then lastly look at opportunities. And opportunities for the most part will be about what sustains you. But what sustains you is oftentimes financial. And money is not a spiritual currency. So obviously when we look at opportunities, this is also about how these opportunities reflect your, your spiritual being inside whatever it is that sustains you financially. I hope this makes a lot of sense. And what I'm going to do this month is I'm not going to use cards. I'm not. <laughs> I am using my Galaxy Balls. They are sort of a new, newish addition to what I do. And yet, sort of long overdue, I do astrology, obviously. Um, and um, so the guide thought I need a new tool to connect better to your star signs. And so the Galaxy Balls came into my life and I got two and they're very different. I'm going to um, tell you about the two of them now um, because they have messages and meanings in themselves and then see which ones I, I, I am drawn to. Won't take a minute. So what I have here is... I have two galaxy balls um, and they are um, different, uh, but I'm going to show them to you both because um, I will be using only one of them. And then, you know, maybe the guys even say, well, for this section, use this one. So obviously you need to know why I'm changing them. That makes sense. <coughs> Here's what I have. I have the, the dolphin one. Beautiful, eh? I have the dolphin one. And the dolphin one here is about perception so everything you hear me say should i be should should this be the one i'm using everything you hear me say everything i'm sharing that the guides give me see it from a point of view of where am i in the scheme of things so everything you hear here should be reflected from where you are in life already right if that makes sense so you you look at the messages from the here and now where am I in the scheme of things? What's actually happening? It makes it easier for you to understand the messages that come from the dolphin galaxy ball. The other one that I could be using <laughs> is the dragon galaxy ball. They're literally crystal balls, but they have resin in it and they allow me to see uh, galaxies and, you know. So the point is, it is the dragon one. The dragon is associated with the, with, with, with the, the color gold, just like Leo is. And gold is a conduit. Um, so that again allows me to, to connect to your sign easier. But because it is also associated with the element of water, everything you hear me say, should I be using this one? You have to reflect on it from how you're feeling about it from within, right? So this is more about connecting with your inner self when you listen to the messages that the guides are going to give you. Right? So let me just have a, another sip. And now um, we're looking at your overall energy for the months ahead. And I'm drawn to the dolphin one. <clears throat> now, here's what I'm getting as the overall energy for you. Everything you need to know about what it is you ought to do, want to do with your life, is already right in front of your face. You will be able easily to not be fooled by people this month. Right? You're Scorpio. Scorpio is an energy... You have um, quite a strong fight or flight response, probably stronger than most other signs. And the 
the resin that I'm seeing, there's a there's a uh, an air bubble right in front of the dolphin's mouth. That's what I'm seeing here. And so, but the dolphin isn't chasing it. He's playing with it. So what the guides are saying to you as the over energy for January 2023 is, you know, everything you need is right in front of you. There's space, there's air, and you just follow and do whatever the heck you want to do, right? Um, so if you are in a, a person that feels like, you know, um, I'm having a few New Year resolutions and, and kind of stuff, life isn't about resolutions. Life is about making changes when you feel life is not working the way it is at this point in time. And that's what I'm getting. <clears throat> Don't focus too much on what you really feel has to change. If you need to, if you feel a need is again a very, very, very strange word, but if you are a person that goes like, I really have to lose weight, well, then, you know, find a way to lose weight, even though it's easier said than none. The point the guides are making is, you're, you shouldn't focus on the areas that you feel are already utter crap and you feel horrible about it. Do them because you are worth it. Don't do them because um, you just had enough of them not working. See what I mean? Quite important, because you have the dolphin playing with the air bubble in front of him. Therefore, being lighthearted in January is really, really important. And since this is about perception, this is about where am I in the scheme of things? Even at the worst of times, you can make changes. And this is how you should see the world. Also, you have a dolphin as a, as a, as a representation. And the dolphin, um, the, the, the downside of having the dolphin as an energy is that the dolphin has very few muscles um, therefore, he always appears to be happy, smiley, when in fact they're not, right? Animals shouldn't be in captivity. The dolphin in captivity um, doesn't last super long, right? Because he's, he's very associated and he's very sensitive, so stress, you know. Anyway, point I'm trying to make here with, with, the, with the dolphin as a depiction when it comes to the scheme of things. When you feel under pressure, you will suffer. You have to be... Either be self-employed, do whatever the heck you really want to do, or make sure that the people you work with represent what you really like doing. Really, really important. So the downside is that, that maybe you are too polite for the most part. But because the, the dolphin is following an air bubble, there's lightheartedness, there's fun. What doesn't work in January is for you to go into the office and then, and then just kick someone's balls just because you've had enough, right? You ought to understand that if you have a more lighthearted approach, things will be easier. So make sure that you're not super frustrated when you look at what areas in your life should or, or must change. I'm not saying to you don't change them, but changing things with frustration can only slow things down. Right? That's that. So let's have a look at your emotional core, see what's happening there for you. <clears throat> okay. With regards to uh, your emotions, from here on in, things can only get better. Now, I already said, you know, 2023 is a seven year. It's a much higher energy than 2022 was. And Scorpios, right, being depicted by the Scorpion, um, you here in that depiction here when it comes to your emotional go how you truly feel you are literally opening up to new opportunities you're also opening up to new experiences but again there's a lot of, it's all about being light-hearted here you are following your heart and when you just follow what makes you feel good right um Different doors may open for you to explore different paths. So what I'm hearing for you <clears throat> in the month of January 2023 for the sign of Scorpio when it comes to your emotional core, this is about love, this is not about trauma. It's about, you know, to a certain extent, the energy here is you're chasing it, right? And that is oftentimes what happens is even when you when you're done, right? When you say like I'm I'm done with people and you know blah 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 blah, and then you give this whole shebang as to why you don't no longer trust people, 
right? You can stop that now because we're all in the same bloody boat, right? Um, and we learn in intimate relationships the best, right? The more you can let stuff go, the better a new relationship can be. Not looking at it doesn't really work either. So the point here is there's an element of you chasing new energy, but the energy here is chasing it lightheartedly, which means like, yeah, maybe I do look at that message. Maybe I do say yes to that coffee, right? Lightheartedness. That's what I'm getting for you with regards to love. The energy here flows slowly. The timeline that I'm getting is that when it comes to your, how you truly feel and how love better uh, manifests truly, will be much clearer come March, right? So January, February is not, energetically speaking, as open as it will be from March onward for you, if that makes sense. But that doesn't mean you should wait until March. It just means that, you know, when should you should you enter a relationship or or maybe um, revamp the one you're in, right? It will have to be um, a thing of progress. Okie dokie. So now let's have a look at the um, opportunities as the percentage of CU in the month of January 2023. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Scorpios. This is a general reading. You take it as it resonates. The energy that I'm getting, and it might be very specific, which is why I'm saying these are general readings. They may not be for all of you. My experience is that the people who should listen to this will find the video. <clears throat> but the energy that I'm getting is the energy of moving. In other words, when it comes to opportunities, you will probably have to look at maybe we should move into the new building. Maybe I should move into a new position. Maybe I should have a bigger toolbox should you be self-employed to do things. There's movement here. Opportunities in January generally are hard to come by. They're not. Um, January by default is a slow month when it comes to, to people hiring and, and to things opening up, right? So it's one of those months, you know, people always say like, oh, it has got five weeks um, and it's the months after Christmas. So <laughs> a lot of people sort of associate um, January with a long night. <laughs> Point is, the energy here clearly shows me, which is why I'm saying it to you, that the hardest thing would be to just continue with what it is you have always done without reflecting on where am I in the scheme of things, right? Uh, is there enough movement in here that makes that makes it worth my time to engage in it? That sort of thing. In any case, that's all I got. Please like, subscribe and share. And like I said, if you like my work, please buy me a coffee. You can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. And I see you all next month. Bye-bye.